Welcome back to CBS This Morning. In the wake of last week's assault on the Capitol, some of America's biggest corporations are backing away from politics. In fact, lawmakers overall could be worried here. More than a dozen Fortune 500 companies have suspended all political donations, and at least one actually wants the money back from senators who claim that Joe Biden's election was a fraud. Political correspondent Ed O'Keefe reports now on what impact this could have. On Monday, Hallmark Cards Company asked for a refund from Republican Senators Josh Hawley and Roger Marshall, who received a combined $12,000. The company says that the senator's decision to vote to reject state's certified electoral college results last week do not reflect our company's values. American Express told employees Monday they're withholding donations from lawmakers who voted to subvert the presidential election results and disrupt the peaceful transition of power. Other major firms like Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft are going farther, saying they'll withhold all political contributions from members of both parties. Chemical giant Dow doing so for at least the next two years. It's sending a ripple effect across all these campaigns because Donald Trump is radioactive. Leslie Sanchez is a Republican consultant and CBS News political analyst and said the corporate giving ban could hurt many GOP candidates. The question campaigns are asking themselves is how long is this going to last and can they separate their campaign from the larger uh, Republican Party and the aura that it has. But Sanchez said that based on her conversations with top government relations executives, the giving ban is likely only temporary. Six months and nine months down the line, they expect those dollars to start flowing again. These are going to be based on individual relationships and not necessarily the party as a whole. But CBS News political contributor Robbie Mook, a Democratic Party consultant, thinks this is a bigger shift. This is part of a larger reckoning we're seeing in our society. You know, employees of these companies really care about what their leadership is doing, about what happens to this PAC money that they're donating. And we saw how this was transformational in sports, in entertainment. And I think we're going to start to see it uh, in corporate America as it relates to politics as well. Corporate America is also facing pressure when it comes to hiring President Trump's current and former spokespeople. White House press secretaries often go on to get high-profile jobs in the private sector. President Obama's landed at McDonald's, Amazon, and United Airlines. Forbes magazine editor Randall Lane argues that those that spoke for Mr. Trump will face a different landscape. He says if top companies hire them, his magazine, quote, will assume that everything your company or firm talks about is a lie. There's no way that we can look at our readers and say, these are people we can trust in the private sector now to give accurate information. In other fallout, the PGA is distancing itself from President Trump, announcing it won't play the PGA championship at the Trump golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey next year. Other companies, including Airbnb, Best Buy, and Coca-Cola, say they're reconsidering their political giving. CBS News is, of course, part of the Viacom CBS family. We checked with our corporate parent. Spokesman said they had no immediate comment on their political giving plans. Gail? <laughs> okay. I was expecting an answer there, but thank you, Ed. There are, <laughs> certainly are consequences. Thank you very much, Ed O'Keefe.